Well, hello everyone, it's Olshus, Akamega Sanfjord, and today I'm going to show you a new method, which is September and October, but this latest method to bypass your Google account on the latest Android device 6.0.1 and on the security patch level for September. And uh, by in the end of the video, I will show you that this device has this latest version. So, first of all, you will have to have the PC uh, original USB cable, just make sure that this original working SIM card inserted on your device and then few programs so um, one of them this is a real term so you just go into Google click for the real term number two download then click enter and the first link must be clicked you will see a new page popped up. You click on the green box which is download and just wait for the process to be finished. Once finished you will see that a new download is popped up. No need to wait, just click on that since it will be open so you will be able to install that. And another thing, so just I will show you how it's, it's installed and there will be needed just to click next 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 install just click by clicking enter the first method just click ok enter the next thing you will make sure that your device has the latest samsung usb drivers just click that and you can find um, those on few pages and make sure that they are la the latest one in order to work properly so I don't um, advise this page I think that the best one would be this one yeah uh, you can find the drivers here and also on the few more pages so that's also important okay so uh, once our download is finished and the installation is as well finished so you see this uh, application so um, first of all um, we have to check we what we do we just plug in the USB cable to our device okay we hear, hear the sound and then on the start just click a few more things uh, which is device manager and then here you will be able to check for the modems you can find it just click properties okay so just double click on that right click for properties then on the modem you will see port com number eight and the essential thing the num is the number so in this case this number eight Make sure guys that you unplug your device once again and now just make sure also you can just put it again because you also might get some errors but do not worry uh, like reopening the, this program real term or re I mean uh, restarting your PC and also a uh, genuine USB port might also help so you guys might here get some errors do not worry uh, in my previous video I even show a few errors and it still worked so just do not worry about that and also make sure that you tick half duplex then click check for port and in this it's correct it's number 8 then you go to the send and there is upper field in which you will have to put some comments okay so the first one will be so make um, we can put that but let's proceed with our device first okay, so click start uh, well we can if you have mobile data inserted so there is no need for Wi-Fi especially if your Wi-Fi is working badly so just just uh, do not use Wi-Fi. Okay, it's checking for the software, checking info, and then you will 
you will see that device was reset to continue signing with Google account. It's probably since then this doesn't work. So guys, what do you do next? After putting this command, just send AC double I. Okay, you got okay. Also, you might get error, so don't worry. Just restart. Uh, cable, put different cable or uh, relaunch the application. The next command will be like this. With uh, so instead of those three digits, you can put the valid phone number. Doesn't matter, and then click send. Now it's calling, so it's working basically. And there are two ways to to get into Google uh, to Samsung applications. So this is the first one. So just click on device and then um, go below. You can see that you put contact, but you will have to go below and click on scan business card. Just click download. Afterwards, you will be proceeded to Galaxy applications. Simple, just agree. You can see that you already can search something. For example, EC browser file. Okay, so you can see that you already can uh, look and get into this application. So afterwards, but I will show you another method. So we will skip all the methods, and I'll get back to you very soon. Just go back, discard, and here again just um, click on the I'm not sure if this work you will also might see some errors this time so just click this one you see this is the error so um, make sure that you either close the application so let's close the application just get the tape cable back then put it again Okay, so it's put again, great. And then open real term application. Run as administrator. Click for yes. And then tick half duplex, check port, then send, and then send all the comments again. So the first one. Okay, still show error, so it shouldn't. So just click once again. Now it's okay. After second try, and then you click the second command. You put that, and then send. Now it's calling. Well, again. Okay, so this phone is invalid. So click for the message, and just type Google dot com or your country for for example google dot com you see then send and click on that so you will now proceed to the google browser just click samsung galaxy app then the first okay now click on the first page make sure your internet is working good second I think this is not this one but anyway you can find it somewhere here yeah this one the Samsung Global. Okay, so just wait and you will see this page, just still not this one, but just a second. You have to click Samsung Galaxy Store, so this is the page where you have to go. Then click on the Samsung Galaxy apps. Somehow when I click that it didn't open. Okay, so now click for search. And then find the program which is called uh, 
it's the file manager okay let me see ec so you go to samsung galaxy store then click on samsung galaxy apps and then click for search and then search for s file explorer so once you find it just click on the download and then put your uh, Samsung credentials, so either create account or sign in, and I will sign in. Okay, so once you sign in, so just wait for the loading. Then shouldn't take long. Okay, so now accept and download. It takes four megabytes, which is very fast to download. And then uh, you will see some, just accept that, wait for the program to be downloaded, okay, it's installing, so now after it's finished just click open. And this is a great program, it will help you to do many things, so click on this and then uh, okay, just cancel. Just click on the favorite and then add. And here, will, here you will have to add a few, few links. So I will write them shortly. So add them here. So it will be like HTTP and two slashes go dot gl then one slash hk at WD and then let's call it like bypass then add so after it's added you will see that okay it's called bypass SD bypass SD. and then you click on that page and you see that you're proceeded to the download link okay so once you are here just click on the com rootjanky.frp so a uh, big thanks to rootjanky and also GSM, ABC, and other people that helped me. How to solutions as well. VN ROM guy. Okay, now I'll go to settings. Because these guys helped me a lot. They gave me good ideas. And all sources. Click on that. And then just uh, allow for all installations. So untick. And then install. So this is uh, the FRP bypass uh, that will be installed. You can click open but just click done because if you click open it will show that it's stopped so just uh, go back and then add one more link okay so now it will be http then two dots two right slashes v and rom which is the guy that uh, also a youtuber that gave me uh, an idea for that so thanks for you really big thanks and let's call it like by one just like this okay once you add it so you can see that it's bookmark already uh, successfully added just click on that you will be proceeded to the and if you have android Five and newer, so five and like five zero one. You just click on that. If you have six and newer, so click on the newest one. Once clicked, it will be downloaded. Okay, it takes a little bit longer time. But anyway, it should soon finish. Just open the file. Just install that. After that, go back to install once again um, the application. So just done, and go back and download and then click uh, for the Rajan key and install once again and this time it should work so you can also make vice versa now just open that and here we go you just click on this browse sign in and you put your credentials so just I will put that okay you see that
Okay, so it's signing in. Shouldn't take long. Okay, so once it finished, just do not do anything, just restart your device. Restart. And let's wait. Okay, guys, so here's the proof that it's working on the device. Just click start. You can see after the start, we see the same thing. Just click next. You see that we already was where and tick that. Okay, now the most important moment to come. <laughs> it's working. Great. So the account has been added. Then just click next. And I will show you a proof that this was done on the newest device. It takes long. But it should soon be done. Now it shows to add another email on, so I will just click not now and I can show you because there was my email address okay to skip skip anyway okay wow so many devices okay later next agree not now Okay, next and then prove the finish. Okay, guys. And here I will show you the proof that this is the latest Android device. <coughs> so, go with the Galaxy A3 and software info that's Android 6.0.1. Baseband, kernel version, build number, security software version. Nox version and the most important Android security patch level which is September 1st 2016 so this is the whole view how it looks like and after you do that you make sure that you will reset your device so click on here and then click factory data reset and then proceed I will not show you because there will be my Google account address so just do not forget to do that and so thanks for watching and I hope you um, like, share to media and subscribe to my channel.